Hello everyone, welcome back to Me Know What You Like, I'm Lucia, and today on the channel we are watching Heartstopper Season 2, Episode 7. This one is called Sorry. Baby, I'm sorry, not sorry. Yep. And very exciting things happened last time. Um, officially to the party at least. Um, Nick and Charlie are out. <laughs> I even met Hickey. We were together. Do you think um, you know, anyone will spread the word? Yes. Yes, I will. And you know how I know? Because teenagers, I was one one. I was one once. Yep. And uh, also because Charlie, he was looking on the Instagram. Is it true y'all are dating? And um, Tao and um, uh, L are good. But I personally think that's going to be a wrench because of L's school. You know? Um, Isaac and James, I think that was his name, James had a little kiss, but uh, Isaac was like, so, still some tension between Darcy and Tara, and then also the teachers, yep, that's what they did, they did a little shimmery, a little shimmy. Anyways, if you're watching this on YouTube, we are done on Patreon. If you're watching this on YouTube, Uncut should be on Patreon. Let us start right now. Nope, didn't eat. No, uh, Ben. Fuck off. Block him. <gasps> yeah! Good. Maybe me and Elle decided to get together <laughs> I love the relationship oh God, by the way Oh that's so cute That's it out Yeah Your dad called to dinner next week Dad's coming to visit Sick Shut Can up older brother Yeah it's a lovely idea What you're joking Yes, we can Shut invite up. Charles and his sister make a proper dinner party out of it. We've been invited to Nick's for a dinner party. Wow, Mum will love that. What do you mean? She's not exactly Nick's biggest fan, is she? Well, maybe this will help her see how great he is. Or show David the dick. Ben, what? All right, I need to know more about your upbringing, girl. Oh, look at dark and gloomy. I think I'm gonna go to prom. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Would you like to be my you date? Like to, like, be my prom date? Oh, he's so cute. Really? We might get a lot of attention. And I don't want to wear matching suits. Oh, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Good. What well, once color Good. suits one doesn't mean it'll suit you both. This one's pretty. You look fucking you fabulous. Oh my god. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford it. I haven't got much left after Paris. No, it's fine. I've got some cake. It's amazing. Do you like it? I've got some. No, I can't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Friends. Friends, they're so precious. That's what you're supposed to do. That made me kind of watery. I'm not gonna even lie. It's all the beauty and power of friendship. Got your back. You know, I read all these books where people fall in love, and I still have absolutely no idea. Oh, my boy, I get you. But then we kissed, and I just Nothing? knew I didn't. Is it maybe asexual? I'm so proud of him for having this conversation, though. Oh, James. It's my one. Really? I love it. Thanks. What's it about? Basically about my experience being aromantic and asexual. I called it! Because he didn't... Like... Freedom. The... Euphoria of freeing yourself from those pressures and expectations. Ah, uh, he's like, oh, I get it. She's so moody. I already told her I'd leave early. Literally nothing I ever do is good enough. 
I should probably leave. Don't you miss those painting? If I leave it any longer, I'll just make it more angry. Okay. Well, I know what that's like. You still coming to prom tomorrow? Of course. So, there have been a lot of changes in my life over the last couple of years. But with this piece, I guess I wanted to capture Take a place. place that holds a lot of happy memories. Even in the darker times. Somewhere I, I don't know why they safe. Can you my eyes are watery? Well, let's have a look. One, two, three. Oh, oh I saw Tao's hair. Oh, it's precious. Go up there, stupid. Thank you. The core, you know. They got me. They got I'm me. I'm glad you liked it. What are you doing here? I, I, I need to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. I just want to apologize. Why? Properly. Are you moving? Are you are you in counseling? Please, just hear me out. I'm not going back to Truem for sex form, so if you really hate me after this, you'll never see me again. I liked you. You know that, don't you? I know I was a piece of shit, but I really liked you. I just Probably had a good person. To figure his shit out. I like you too. But my parents would never accept who I really am. I'm that doesn't mean you get to be a bully. Everything. This must be what I deserve. Someone taking whatever he wants from me whenever he wants. Treating me like I'm nothing the rest of the time. And now whenever anything good happens in my life, there's a little voice in the back of my mind telling me I'm worthless. And Any I don't questions at all? And now you want me to forgive you so you can feel better about yourself. I'm glad you realized what Getting you did angry. was wrong, but you don't get to ambush me into forgiving you. Sorry doesn't make Say up it out. for everything you did to me. Let's go, Charlie. Let's I really hope far. you become a better person so you don't hurt anyone else. Freedom that I ride don't act. I'd be there to see that happen. Fuck yeah. I don't want to see you ever again. That's right. Don't turn back. Didn't go exactly. Look, it's reaching out to you. You dump. It's reaching out to you. Accept who you are. And yet you turn away from it. I, I, the, I bought what he's saying with his parents. I completely understand. And I will talk about that at the end. Allez, 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 also allez, with the grandparents too. Allez, allez, Dad, has Nick told you how he met Charlie? No. Oh, David. School. School. What is your problem? I played rugby when I was in university. Let's go. It's a very Sister, attractive sport. Sister, whose name I'm forgetting at the moment. Have neither of you boys find girlfriends? Yeah, I'm not sure. Nope. Nick's too interested in looking for girlfriends. Really. Shut up, David. Don't you dare. Ooh. Ooh. David, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The table. We have guests. Why do you always do this? I'm just trying to help. Shut up, David. Sorry, this is ridiculous. Charlie's my boyfriend. Dad. Charlie's my boyfriend. Okay. Surprise. I'm bi, he's gay, and I was actually really stressed mm -hmm. out about how I was going to tell you. But you know what? David. I don't care I am what you who think I am. about it anymore. Because you don't care to even see us more than two times a year. Period. Period. And you know, every time I do see you, I always think, this is it. Let's go. And I don't know why you're acting like you are 10 years old. I could tell him. But your bullying just doesn't affect me anymore because quite simply... You're a bitch. I do not care. I like who I am. I like my life. Let's go. My boy Maybe right there. stay with Dad next time. Leave for us. Yes. <laughs> that's going to change how Charlie's mom feels like about that. Nick. Oh, David, be quiet. We've yes. enough from you, thank it's you. It's Nick that's making a scene. Well, that went well. Right. Could have gone worse. Sorry. Well, I'm pleased you said what you said, especially to your dad. He needed to hear it. I'm glad about the brother, too. Is he? No, he's not. 
<laughs> Dad, you, you're going? Yeah. Got I'm trying to get to attention. London before it gets too late. But call me when you get back to Hindenburg, huh? Glasgow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's> well, yeah. <laughs> yep. He's saying that shit because he wants attention. Everyone has their daddy issues, huh? Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Drama queen boyfriend's influence. But push him, push him, push him. Yeah, mate, well, exactly. That's it. Put in Yeah. You are a pathetic little man. Oh, yeah. Talk about my brother like that again, and I'll end you. <laughs> Fuck yeah. He's a nice boy when he's not distracting you from your coursework. <laughs> and maybe we could have him and Sarah around in a few weeks. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Charlie didn't eat very much. No, he didn't. At all. Barely anything. Ask ask for help. How? How? Mmm, the mom. What'd I say? What'd I say? Mom is so toxic. You're going to Dars Taras. It starts disappearing. When she gets outside the house, she can breathe. But still, the edges are blurry. Okay, this was a very heavy episode, y'all. Um, so heavy. <laughs> uh, okay, so that feeling of walking on eggshells. Where you have to lie where you're at, where you wonder why uh, you simply can't be, where you have to constantly check in so someone doesn't check up on you. I know it all too well. My mother's technically husband, not my dad, because they're divorced. But technical husband, because I don't think they've been divorced yet. He was like that my entire, almost the entire time that I've known him. They, they're they separated at this point. But like the time that, but I think they're still technically married. Like when I was in college, I stayed at home, you know, because we, I, I didn't live too far from where I went to university. And I was an adult. And yet I would constantly be told I couldn't be somewhere I couldn't I was told constantly that I needed to get home at an hour a certain hour and I was an adult I was paying my own bills mind you and yet it was hoarded over me like a bully like I was five years old and eventually like after I got out of college um I was told by this man Okay, get a job immediately or you're kicked out. And you know what? I got a job at a Wendy's. And I worked at a Wendy's for six months. And like uh, the first two months that I worked at that Wendy's, he and my mom moved away. And so at the house that we were living at, it was myself, my brother, and my brother's like family. And so it was the most freeing I had ever felt in so long. Now it was, it was it was extremely bad living conditions in that I was very very poor because every every dollar went into trying to keep the house afloat. And so but also it was just the best feeling. I would let my brother know like hey I'm at this place but he wasn't constantly hounding me about where I was, who I was with, who I was seeing, this or that, what I'm doing with my time. Oh, what, or, or like my, he, my, my stepdad would also hound me about my interest. Oh, what is anime? That's, what is that going to do for you? That's going to help you with nothing. Why are you reading those romance novels? Are you getting pregnant? Like that, that's the type of shit he would tell me. And I just. <sighs> like I said, he and my mom are no longer together, but I still, I think technically they're still married. But so. 
Darcy, I get it. I completely get it. Obviously, the situations are different in the fact that, you know, you know, I don't have a parent telling me, or I didn't have a parent telling me, oh, you need to take that off, you look like this, and that sort of thing. But just that, that walking on eggshells feeling, I know it all so well. And then Isaac, my guy, he was searching for all the romances, thinking maybe to figure out what was wrong with him. And he even asked, what does it feel like when you have a crush on someone? I thought maybe it's because he was finally having a crush on someone, but it was because the way he was feeling, it wasn't the same way they were feeling. And like I mentioned in the reaction, my roommate is asexual. And so I have an idea of it, you know? I have an idea. But you can still have a crush, you can still like someone, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're physically or sexually attracted to them. But yeah. Um. I'm so proud of Nick. I'm so proud of Charlie. And I, okay, going back to what, what Ben was saying, his family wouldn't approve. Um, not every family is approving. That's straight fact. No, no, that's not a lie. You know, you have some people get kicked out of your house. Some people that, um, are welcome because like, hey, that's my child. That's my grandchild, regardless of who they are. And so, Ben is fighting who he is, but also he, he took the most toxic route ever, and he squashed Charlie's light, basically. And so, bueno, Nacho. And he still, Ben is still hiding who he is. You know, the 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 rainbow, if you will, is there to welcome him in, with open arms, but he's still freaking out his shit. Does, that does not give anyone the right to be a fucking bully. Nope. Um, I'm glad that Charlie's eating disorder is getting more prominent, and I feel like it needs to be even more prominent. Like, maybe someone needs to speak to his parents about it. Um, Tori, I wonder if she knows about it. Ah, uh, Tori's so great. Tori's so great. I was very proud of, uh, Tal this episode also. It, this interesting thing's going on with Emojin, like her and, um, I forgot the girl's name, but yeah. Anyways, this was a great episode. I really, really can't wait for the next episode, which is the season finale of season two, but bye for now.